Hi, my name is Alexander Meek, and this is uh, my scale model of a de Havilland DH2, which I have built. It has an all-up weight of about 3 kilograms. It's powered by a 1 4S 4000 milliamp hour battery, which gives about a 15 minute flight time, depending on uh, how fast you're flying it. Or I can fly it with uh, two 4S 2000 milliamp hour batteries. It has a NTM prop drive series 4238 750 kV 785 watt motor, electric motor. Uh, it's driven by a 14 by 7 prop. Has a span of 132 centimeters, a cord of 23 centimeters, and the scale is about 1 to 6.5. The radio I'm using is an orange with a orange RX RX 3S 3 axis flight stabilizing system on 24 GHz and I find that excellent. It really helps to fly the model and uh, another trick I found was to couple the uh, rudder with the ailerons because in these old timers the rudder was the main means of turning and the ailerons just basically cleaned up the turn so if you get, use a lot of rudder and a little bit of ailerons and couple them together it really works well with it with this plane way back in 1971 I built a 60 inch 9 pound or uh, 4 kilogram DH2 driven by a 60 motor which was uh, quite successful and I published it in RC Modeler magazine in 1974 with the plans but when I came back into the hobby after about 40 years I saw these electric models and especially the way flight tests were building their uh, light models so I thought I'd build a uh, smaller DH2 a little bit smaller than the, the 60 inch one and so it would fit in the back of my station wagon without having to re-rig it every time so this is the results of that and after uh, ironing out a few problems um, it now flies very successful so here, here's a example of its flight and I'll show you some of the building Hold it, mate. Get it around. Ready yet? On takeoff, it has plenty of power. So we give it uh, a lot of up elevator so it doesn't nose over to start off with. And once it's level and off the ground, we then take off. It takes off a very short distance. And as you can see, the combined uh, aileron <coughs> and rudder makes the turns very good. Uh, keep up a bit of speed. It will fly at around about just over half yep. throttle. Yep. It will last for about. Uh, Fly about 15 minutes. This is only a short flight just to demonstrate takeoff and landing. I'm flying at a local flying field, it's the Ballerine Model Aircraft Club, Marcus Hill outside Ocean Grove, Victoria, Australia. It's a great field. Still running. Good view uh, of the one. bay. Pick it up again. It's in the country. And uh, not many neighbours around, so we're not upsetting many people. Yeah, that was nice. Very cloudy conditions, but uh, not, not a strong uh, wind or anything. A 
landings you have to have it come in with a bit of speed otherwise uh, and uh, hold come in with a bit of up elevator otherwise she'll nose over for plans I had an old uh, aero modeler August 1966 model aircraft magazine with a three view which I put into uh, my computer and used publisher to blow it up to the scale I wanted and then printed them out on a A3 printer with many sheets and stuck them all together another reference I had is profile publications the the de Havilland DH2 number 91 with two shillings <laughs> It has some good specifications of dihedral incidence, etc. So I start cutting out the wing using the flight test method, especially uh, like they used in their uh, Spitfire d design. I'm using a 3mm foam board here. The uh, centre spar is 20mm high by 10mm wide. It's basically a Clark wire airfoil section and I have a 1 8 uh, thickness dihedral brace running as per the picture. Ailerons are cut up cut out after the wings are completed and uh, hinges put in and pinned. Don't use tape, they'll fall off. The struts are made of 1 8 ply slotted into both wings. The wings are then very carefully aligned to their incidence and that they're both set up uh, spaced evenly apart and then finally glued and then uh, trimmed as it's hard to uh, sand down hot glue, I found a trick of using a, an old hot iron and iron it down flat. The tips were, were eventually filled with foam and then sanded down to shape. I used that foam you can buy in a can and just uh, spray it in. All booms are about 3mm diameter with uh, aluminium cladding formed around the booms and then uh, slotted into each strut. Uh, all the uh, gluing is um, hot glue. I actually uh, pinned through the strut and aluminium uh, cladding to make sure they didn't uh, pull out. The stab rudder and elevators are all made from 3mm foam board strengthened where possible with uh, uh, coffee stirrers and the hinge pin for the rudder is made from about 1.8mm music wire fed through nylon tubing which is uh, drilled through also through the foam board and strengthened it can be a very um, weak point there because a lot of pressure on that uh, point of the stab and the rudder. The elevator hinge is basically a packing tape top and bottom and they are not joined together. The skid is made from aluminium with a spring and is very effective in steering. The fuselage is made with a base of about 1 8 ply with uh, ply, about uh, four ply formers, uh, putting all to join them all together, and then wrapping around a five millimeter foam board on top. The nose is basically shaped from foam. 
undercarriage is 3mm music wire, axles 2mm music wires, wheels are 4 inch which I modified, um, removes the outer uh, wheel tire and replaced with a light foam, foam tire I found and uh, cut out a lot of the center section and uh, made it out of a light canvas and painted it red. All rigging and control cables are now made from uh, nylon coated seven strand wire leader material, 60 pounds, which the fishermen use. Roundels I print on my printer on glossy paper, uh, use contact adhesive to spray on the underside and then stick it to the wing and then finally give it a spray with clear lacquer at the end. The centre section of top wing showing supports for struts. Struts on fuselage are bolted here. Elevator throws up and down. When spraying enamels, don't be too close so that the uh, foam doesn't melt. 60 amp ESC is used. This is the rear of the motor and the ESC is mounted up underneath the pilot. Note the stabilizing system is at the C of G. I would like to give uh, thanks and credit my creator and saviour, Yahweh Yeshua, who has healed me of prostate cancer. And I now have uh, some extra years on my 70 years of age to enjoy a stress-free hobby of building and flying these model aeroplanes. Thank you.